of a collapsed condominium complex. Uh, but I just want to give credit to the search and uh, fire uh, department, the first responders, Miami-Dade County. They were on that scene before we knew whether there'd be more collapse. We didn't know whether the building uh, had any structural integrity and they were shepherding people to safety. Uh, and they absolutely save people's lives. And so we really appreciate uh, all that they have done and that they're continuing to do. Uh, I had an opportunity to meet uh, with Mayor Kava and her team, uh, as well as the mayor of Surfside. And we just toured uh, around the complex to be able to see, and the TV doesn't do it justice. I mean, it is really, really uh, uh, traumatic to see uh, the collapse of, of a massive structure like that. Uh, right now, uh, we have the fire rescue. They are in search and rescue mode. They are uh, trying to identify survivors. I know they have made contact um, uh, with some and they are, they are doing everything they can to save lives. And that is ongoing and they're not gonna rest. And so thank for what they're doing. Uh, we were just over there, got to thank some of the, some of the folks who just had to change a shift, uh, but they've really stepped up. Uh, we're also uh, making sure that the people that have been displaced uh, have a place to go. We're going to be visiting uh, the center up further north on Collins Avenue after this, uh, but we are happy to report uh, that through the help of the Red Cross, we have short-term uh, hotels uh, set up for these folks. And then obviously we're going to work with the city and the county, state, uh, to make sure that there's uh, any longer-term needs, that, that we can be helpful in any way we can. Uh, this is not necessarily going to be immediate in terms of what ended up happening, but I know that they are going to have engineers looking at this. Uh, to, to try to identify what w what happened and what was the problematic uh, 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 occurrence. And so that, that probably, you're not gonna have those answers immediately, but I know that they are diligently gonna be working to be able to do that. And so uh, it's, a, uh, it's a tragic day. Uh, some of those folks uh, who were able to, to go from safety, we, we thank the, the fire and rescue for what they did to be able to put themselves on the line to help other folks. They're still hard at work. Uh, we still have hope to be able uh, to identify um, additional survivors. And uh, the state of Florida, we're offering any assistance that we can. We've done some with the Florida Department of Transportation. Uh, Miami-Dade's got a great team, and so they've got a lot of, of resources that they're bringing to bear, but we're standing by to help in any way we can. Uh, I'm gonna introduce our uh, Director of Emergency Management, Kevin Guthrie. He's gonna say a few words. Uh, we're also gonna hear from Mayor Kava, and then I think Mayor, you're, yeah, yeah, you're gonna hear from the Mayor Surfside um, as well. So, Kevin. All right, good afternoon. Kevin Guthrie with the Florida Division of Emergency Management. Just to give you an update on what's going on with state resources, uh, we do have members of the state emergency response team that have been activated and are working this uh, this event. They include members from obviously the uh, chief financial officer's office with the state fire marshal and ESF 16. That includes individuals from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and our law enforcement resource, resources from ESF 16. It also includes our ESF 8 uh, health and medical um, as well as our DOT partners. Uh, D, uh, I know uh, Director Dan Eagle, is, Dane Eagle is here as well with DEO. So we've got about five different state agencies involved right now that are uh, assisting uh, local uh, county and city government on responding to this event. Um, right now the biggest ask that's been asked for is traffic control devices from DOT and DOT is filling those resources right now. Um, again, we will be here as long as we need to be to uh, continue to assist the local uh, county and municipal government with the, the needs that they have of us. Thank you. So this is the incredible, unimaginable situation that none of us could have predicted, but we have the right people on the job. Our team at Miami-Dade Fire Rescue has dealt with collapse situations before. Their dogs are trained. They have been on the scene since they got the call at 1.38 this morning, and they are doing a fantastic job. They were able to rescue uh, so many from the buildings, the intact building, the collapsed building, uh, and, and really in, incredible that at this time we've only identified one person uh, as, as having passed. So we are very, very hopeful. We'll continue the search and rescue operation. Uh, we've also evacuated the two side buildings and we're working with uh, Red Cross, with our own social service agency, our police and fire departments to make sure that those people are properly situated. Uh, the leadership here of the city mayor has been phenomenal. He's been on the scene since early this morning, as well as neighboring mayors. They've all come to help. 
the, with their police departments, with their own uh, their own moral support and and presence. Also, this is a predominantly uh, Jewish community, and we've had the rabbis and chaplains on hand. The operation that we'll be visiting in uh, shortly, the um, community center. Uh, people are getting the support that they need. Not only are they getting hotel rooms, they're getting help with their medicines, uh, with, with blankets, with clothing, uh, because of course there they are with, with nothing. They were evacuated in the night. Um, anyone who is looking for a, a missing loved one, anyone with information, we have a hotline, 305-614-1819. 305-614-1819, and this is how we are going about uh, continuing this operation with the support of, of family members. We're also going to be receiving family members. We're going to accommodate them, uh, so stay tuned as well for, for that. Eh, estamos tan agradecidos por el trabajo increíble de nuestros bomberos que estaban aquí desde la mañanita y rescutaron... Uh, tanta gente, eh, cientos de personas de los edificios y después de todo eso solamente una persona que ha, que ha desaparecido. Y estamos con esperanza que con su expertise, su experiencia, que podemos salvar más personas y están buscando ahora eh, ellos y con sus perros eh, y, y ellos tienen eh, lo que necesitan para hacer el trabajo. Eh, también los edificios al lado eh, hemos eh, sacado las personas y están todos esperando en nuestro centro de, de comuni comunitario y estamos buscando uh, um, hoteles para ellos y, y otra ayuda de, de social si necesitan. También tenemos una línea de emergencia para los que están buscando familiares o si tienen información. 305-614-1819. 305-614-1819. Eh, estamos muy agradecidos también para todo el apoyo de las ciudades alrededor, el Estado, el gobernador y, y la emergencia del Estado. So we're really grateful everyone's come together and we're going to continue our efforts here. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Cava, Governor DeSantis. Uh, Little Surfside has experienced a catastrophe with respect to this building. Uh, I woke up the morning, this morning at 2 o'clock and came out to the property and it was something like I could never believe could happen. It was a complete collapse of the building. I thought maybe a balcony had gone down, but we've got 134 units in that building, I understand, and literally half of that building is not there anymore. So we're working hard. The, uh, there's not a lot that Little Surfside can do except ring the alarm bell. And we rang the alarm bell, and Mayor Cava sent the cavalry, as did the governor. And that has made all the difference in the world. They've got resources like you can't believe here. We've got the dogs, we've got the equipment, and we're going to do our very best to save as many people in that pile of rubble as we possibly can. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Great. LG, Espanol. Yes. Bueno, muchas gracias por estar aquí. Obviamente hoy es un día muy triste para todos nosotros ver lo que ha pasado aquí en Surfside. Como dijo el gobernador, el Estado está aquí para, para proveer el apoyo para el alcalde, la alcaldesa. Estamos aquí para asegurar que podemos continuar en lo que es eh, los esfuerzos de nuestros héroes que han estado desde temprano eh, buscando, están en un, en un momento de búsqueda y rescate. Eh, tenemos eh, la fe de que vamos a poder seguir buscando sobrevivientes y también estamos aquí para el apoyo de la comunidad. Sabemos que es un momento muy difícil, hay muchas personas que todavía aún no saben si sus ser, seres queridos eh, han podido encontrarlos. Como dijo la alcaldesa, hay un número de teléfono 305-614-1819. Tenemos el centro comunitario donde estamos eh, tratando de reunificar a, la fami a las familias aquí. Eh, eso está en la 93 y Collins. Y le pedimos a la comunidad paciencia. Paciencia porque sabemos que no vamos a tener las respuestas que uno quiere a, a este momento. Estamos en este momento evaluando, como dijo el gobernador, los ingenieros están adentro, están evaluando lo que es la integridad del edificio. 
y vamos a seguir, a seguir poniendo lo que es la prioridad en el búsqueda, búsqueda y rescate y después proveyendo el apoyo para seguir buscando cuáles son las razones por, por qué este edificio le ha pasado semejante cosa. Así que les doy las gracias. ¿Cuántas personas pudieran estar allí abajo? Eh, no se sabe, en este momento simplemente hay eh, de los 136 unidades, 55 han sido parte del desastre, así que no se sabe y por eso estamos aún en este momento evaluando, vamos a seguir continuando proveyendo información al, al momento que los recibimos, así que es muy importante tener paciencia, eh, vamos a seguir cada vez que hay un, un desarrollo, vamos a seguir informando al, al público y eso será parte de lo que es la colaboración que vemos aquí, el, la ciudad, el condado y el estado. Muchas gracias.